Hey guys, today we are going to be doing a full walkthrough of Crash Bandicoot. So, if you have a PS4, uh, you may want to follow along with me. So, let's go. Now, once you start off, if you're a new player, go to the first Crash Bandicoot. And go to disable overnight. That's my perspective. And it's going to take you to a world that's right over here. Uh, we got to skip all these cutscenes. Now, in Sandy Beach, not a real hard level. I'll, show, I'll still show you the walk. So, as you can probably see, this is going to be a full walk through, as you know. Now, you want to make sure you get all your peaches. And get all your boxes. Now, you may be... Now, that's your inventory. And you press square to spin. Well, triangle's inventory. Square is to spin. X is to jump. And options is to pause. If you're a new player. But I think I'll just take a screenshot. Sorry. I'm just taking a screenshot. Oh. Now, you don't want to get pinched by those guys. So be careful when you go over there. I realize when it says four, it's actually five lives. Because it lets you play a life when you're at zero. Just one life and that's it, pretty much. Now, if I do die like a jillion times, you can go to the option where this, there's this black guy. At When you uh, actually fail, you can, when you get to this black guy, you can retry the level and it'll save. But except for your checkpoints and how far you got. So, in Santee Beach, not too hard, but if you're a beginner, it might be a little frustrating. But now that you've figured out all the controls, well, you just use your left joystick to move around. You may be asking how do you get up there? Just jump, but that doesn't always work. Oh, give me one. Have you ever played um? If you have your Nintendo Switch, uh, have you ever played uh this belt game? If you have, then you. Then I'll do a, uh, I won't do a walkthrough on that. But I'll do a Tetris and a, um, Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. Because I have Super Nintendo app. Or a combo, baby. Now some of these are pretty frustrating, though. Now, I can't miss any of the boxes. Maybe like, nice, Braxton, that's a combo. Well, yes, it is. But. Make sure that you get that little box right there that's gray. You have to jump on that. Or else. Bad luck, guys. You won't be able to get across. Now, just don't worry about how many lives I've got because I don't really need to know that. Now, we will be passing Papu Papu. Uh, you'll see how I'll show you how to beat him, and we will be just beating the whole game and all the different types of like. 
mods and stuff. Now, welcome to the stream, guys. So, this is going to be like a four hour long video. Uh, that'll totally take up a lot of memory on my tablet, but whatever. Oh, you can go either way, but I like to go this way. Now, make sure to get that block. Now, see, you do not want to die like I just did. Now, it is okay to move with the, like, up arrow and the other arrows, but I would recommend you use the joystick. The base, because that's what I always use to move. It's pretty cool. Like, this game is so animated, and I like it so much. So, you may ask, like, how am I so good? Well, I've actually played this for quite a while. Now, I will be happy. I will have to reach what try this, but I do not need no help, like my parents' help, so, yeah. Now, look, see what, I want to show you what I mean by the black guy screen. That screen. Now, once you get here, it's going to ask you to retry, and I would recommend you hit retry. So, just so you know, this is Crash Bandicoot, it respawns you right here. Uh, bug. Ooh. Did you see how many... Do you see how far I knocked that guy? I knocked him all the way over here. Destroy it. You knocked him pretty far. Uh, if you heard the song, Knock Em by Boss Fight Official, you can just sing that when you knock every animal out, or st thing in this game out. Now, once you beat this game, you're just going to be jumping all over your house, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Now, so this is a pretty special episode. A Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I'll be right back. I don't want to get in the TV. Run front the TV. So, yeah. You guys want to just watch this four hour video or more? Watch it! I was up like six o'clock in the morning watching a show with my dad. He's still watching that show. 
Maybe, like, you play enough Crash Bandicoot to know what to do. I did play this yesterday. It was a little hard. See what I mean? You gotta get all your boxes. Now, all of these are pretty hard. Now, the hard one is called the Great Wall, which ain't the last one. The last one is actually, I think it's called a... Uh, I have Fortress, and you, if you don't know what to, tear, to do with TNT, you hop on it, and then you run away before the timer gets down. So, you can look like your Geometry Dash player by just spamming X. I don't know what spam means. It means to click like multiple times. Now you will get those rolling things. Now, but there's stunts in this level, see? Jump on the TNT and run! Let's take those guys out. How did I fall while attacking those? Now, this is for PS4. Now, don't try to press square and spin on the box. All you have to do is press X and jump on it. Now, I don't know whether I'm... So there's two PS4s, and I'm using the PS4 in my parents' room. The thing is... I don't know if both of them are a PS4 Pro, if one of them is a PS4 Pro, or if they're both ain't PS4 Pros. Quick fact about this game. Uh, you can actually miss jump. See, like I did, I missed jump. Now, I did pair my uh, PS4 controller to uh, my tablet, but I have to sync it back to my regular PS4. Now these prawn plants right here, they can eat you, but just press square like a geometry dash player and just keep spamming that. Now make sure you don't miss jump. But there are checkpoints. Like, when you see a box with the C on it, that's a checkpoint. You can just burst through that wall with square. It ain't that hard to bust through the wall. Alright, I wish I could get some music 
blown into the background, but apparently I can't destroy it. If I was able to, I'd put some music in the background. What? How? Just try to burst through this wall. There we go, just, just, just like so. There we go. Now go over here, quick. Make sure you don't let any of these stunts hit you. What in the world? Did you know this guy can hit a two by two area? Two by two. Like a, root, a two by two Rubik's cube. Okay, hop across. Hop across. Oh my gosh, that's push catch. Oh god, jump on the ball. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that TNT. Once you get enough gold points, you can actually go to this bonus. Now you want to save the girl before she calls. It's like. You can actually get locks. That was my bad. My bad. Didn't mean to go right there. You get killed like right away. Now, once you've had to go through so much, just pray that it's over. Like, see how much pain? And see what I mean? They can eat you. They're very, very interactive with foxes. You have to jump between. Uh, what? You have to jump between those. It's really hard, and I don't want to use my last two lives. Because I live somewhere very noisy. Dang it. Oh man. Now, you do want to get lucky. Now, if you don't want to hit it, do not hit the TNT. Now, it's very easy to die in Crash Bandicoot. I press X. I guess that works too.
Now it is pretty frustrating being the second level. Yeah, right. So, give me a minute, I'll roll some music for you. Well, I probably won't roll some music, but at least you can watch. In there. Oh my god, that's impossible. Going back to the bonus. Stop saying it if you don't want me to. Now, you may think that is a pretty long level for me dying all these times. Yeah. Now, this next one. You may have 
to my test time with. The Great Gate. Now, Narrative Fortress is sort of like this. I mean, it's got this gate at the front. But it ain't this insane. Look it up. Now, once you destroy that, you gotta hop through that, which is a little hard. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'll be right back again. There's so many things I need to do. I'm sorry if I'm getting in front of the cam. I'm back again. Now, I want to see if my PS4 is overheating. Nope. Now, this one's sort of hard. Not too hard. Now those real, real roll back. So yeah. Now you want to try to concentrate mostly. That's what I recommend you doing to concentrate. I usually get up that I can't beat Narrative Fortress anymore, but, yeah, I'll try to beat it for y'all. Now, you should be able to jump on those, like, turtles to make that a fair game. Now, these men, you're going to have a little bit of trouble with them. Now, if you just saw me do it, you shouldn't have problems. But if you don't know how to play Crash Bandicoot, why are you watching this? These men are pretty hard to get past. I'm not going to lie. Now you can get burnt down by that. You can get burnt down. So be careful, like, all the times when you play Crash Bandicoot, be careful. I hate when he goes up as a praying angel. See? How did I forget that gap was there? I was like, oh, that's just a straight strip. It's not. How did I? I jumped on top of him. No, 
I'm sort of bad at the great gate. Be careful. Yeah. That's one of the reactions why I got mad at Crash Bandicoot. No, I really hate more than Crash Bandicoot the game. Is this dude? Once you get done with the Crash Bandicoot game, I think you're set for all the worlds that's in it. Now remember, we're only on world three. We still got a long, long, long ways to go. Man. Guys, I think this is going to be it for this episode. Now if you did enjoy